shut up and sell. This is the point of the video today on Ben's Business Podcast, episode number 45. It's all about keeping our mouth shut and letting the customer sell themselves on your product and service. These are some takeaways that I got on selling from Ryan Pinnock at the Super Genius Wealth Workshop that I was at just in London last week there. And I, I really enjoyed the parts about sale, about sales. It was a five-day workshop and there's thousands of takeaways I've got from it. So I'm just picking one, uh, one single thing and it's about being quiet in the presence of our prospect customers. So for example, when we're networking. Um, the workshop was about wealth and some of like the main topics that we discussed was how building wealth is all about asking. And the more you ask, the more you end up getting. And also when you ask and start to receive things, that's what builds wealth when you can learn to receive. And when we start to receive money, it can create a tension and we tend to lose it very fast. So it's about getting better at dealing with that tension with, that we receive when we receive money or when we receive what we want. And we always feel like we need to give back, but we need to learn to receive better. And also the workshop and Super Genius's whole mission is about helping, Ryan's helping our, his students, ourselves, understand the genius that lies within us all. So we all have like greatness within from when we're born, but it tends to get covered up with uh, bad emotions, like negative emotions, it uh, gets cloudy and we, we tend to operate through fear rather than through love um, and we don't focus and use that greatness within us and we need to focus on like a, our, our own purpose, our own vision that we create for ourselves and create through that rather than compete and, and go in other directions. But the first part about selling that I learned is about let stop talking and start asking questions almost be like a coach so this is obviously when you're one-to-one -one with someone and you're talking and learning more about them it's about finding out their problems understanding by asking lots of questions and there's there's questions you can ask that bring like kind of dig out such as what frustrates you that's a a question that they can answer that they're conscious of but then there's questions that can actually dig deeper into like a, a sort of second question on the back of that one, such as how is that um, how is that a problem? And then you can repeat that when they answer the next question. You could also ask something like, what would that lead to? And then if you don't fix this problem, what will happen in the future? And you can repeat these questions after getting the answers again, and they end up going into the unconscious problems that the prospect has. And this was something new to me that I, I've learned. I tend to have like a sort of script presentation or I know what I want to tell the prospect and I tell them that and I don't shut up. <laughs> so what the point of this is to ask questions, then shut up, let them do the talking. And what tends to happen in that scenario, we've done a lot of uh, role play at this workshop on selling. And I found when I took that approach, I, I had basically made a sale on a workshop that I, I plan on developing um, just by letting the person do the talking and just asking them these strategic questions. So that's what coaches do. They ask the person the problem and the coach just tries to lead through questions and letting them make up their own mind on what the, what the answer is to that. And you really don't want to feed, you just want to prod and suggest uh, if they're struggling to get answers, but you want to kind of like feed them with that without giving them the actual words, you want to hear it from their mouth rather than you giving them the words to what their problem is because you don't know and they don't even know it at first. Even if you think you know, you want them to say it. It needs to come from their mouth. So let them do the talking and they'll sell themselves and then you can ask, and what else? That's a great co coaching question is, and what else? It's one of the most powerful questions to basically not do talking and let the other person do the talking and what else. The other part is if you are, for example, doing a pitch or you're, you're talking to like you're uh, talking to a group of people 
uh, or you're, you've got a sort of planned out script. It's about creating tension for the prospect in a way. Not in a negative way, but just kind of kind of making them realise those uh, un, the, the problems that they were actually unaware of. And what to do on top of that is hold the tension with them rather than, because what I found when I was practising this, doing the role play again, is I said my pitch on the microphone to everyone and we, I, I just learned about holding the tension rather than talking about, let, talk about all the problems that the customers have, for example, they don't have any customers, they don't, uh, they don't show up on Google, then I wanted to go and say, but we can get you to number one on Google. And then that releases the tension. And I've talked about what tension is in, in a previous video. It's about, I've got an elastic band here, it shows a great example. So what you want to do is kind of build up the tension in the customer, in the prospect, and keep it there. You don't want to then solve it in your pitching so that the tension stays with them and then they start to go, I really need this product. And then they want, they're, all that tension builds up to make them want to go ahead and it drives action. So tension drives action. And I've hold back from fixing, resolving, or solving the problem in that pitch. And then just kind of follow up with a, a direct call to action, such as, would you be interested in booking the, uh, for this workshop? Uh, come to me and we can get you, get payment sorted and, and go ahead basically. So like you want to be very direct when you're taking that call to action. Uh, and then you realise that they are definitely interested after you. They've expressed interest. They've uh, even expressed some problems. And then you, you basically say, you feel up your product or service as a solution to that, but you don't solve it for them there and then. You, you solve it when they obviously pay for the service or the product. And the other lesson I've learned about sales in general is, for example, used B&Q. When people go to B&Q, they don't buy paint. For example, when I was buying paint for the studio, I was buying paint for a beautiful studio, a, a good background. And Ryan was saying that they, they don't buy paint, they buy a beautiful home. So that's what I was doing when I was buying paint. I wasn't excited about going to buy paint. So that's the feature. That's uh, it's a nice glossy white color, but the what the actual underlying benefit was, it's not a feature, it's not an advantage, but it's the actual benefit that I was driven by and the benefit was that I would have a much whiter background here because before it was a really dark colour on the background and I, I was fed up with that being in the, in, like, in the background of these videos. So I went and got the purest white uh, paint I could possibly buy and it, in the end result was actually for something, uh, something else rather than actually needing and being excited about buying paint. And that's the example. So they're not buying paint, they're buying a beautiful home. And what to do is think of, think of that in your own business, what you're selling. They're not buying websites, they're buying financial freedom, they're buying confidence in their company. And, and what it, I, I've seen a trend when we were answering these questions, what the real, real problem is, is like they want to be part of something, they, they want more confidence, and it, it comes back to sort of more emotional, personal problems that they're trying to solve. Thanks for joining on Instagram Live here as well. Thanks for everyone joining on Facebook Live. So there is, I've always known about features and benefits, but Ryan taught me something in the middle that there's actually features, advantages and benefits. And that's kind of when you're expressing what your products or services are, you want to go through features, advantages and benefits. And people don't buy the features and advantages, but you do need to mention them but you need to go through it in that way. So you, if you've got a line for something, you want to go through feature, advantage, benefit. Then next line, feature, advantage, benefit. You never want to talk about a, benefit, a feature on its own. So that's how to go through that. And then they, they always tend to buy into the benefit, that emotional reason for purchasing something. So I hope you found these takeaways helpful on selling uh, from the Super Genius Workshop. And if you've got any questions, please post them in the replay in the comments below. Thanks for joining.